This podcast is part of the Zeo to Hero Podcast Network. Power with the amazing group of friends. What will we get into next? I can't. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. You stay right here. The world is very lucky to have you, and so am I. May the power protect you always. We heard the voices. We can hear them. We can touch them. We're gonna find out who they really are! Well, now that's a terrible idea. I'm gonna do that one more time because I felt like I sloshed it. This is Zio to Hero. I'm Billy. I'm Jim. We're a podcast where we test the weight limits of the morphing grid week to week. Either by ourselves or with an interesting guest along for the ride. Listen for the cable snap as we fall to our doom. To our doom. To our doom. Twinkle. Welcome to this welcome to this week's episode of Zio to Hero. Where I'm Billy and that's Jim. And today's episode to this week's episode is going to be a little different than what we normally do. This week's episode is going to be a remember a remembrance episode. Oh my god, let me speak to English, buddy. It's a remembrance of someone. You, do you want to go, brother? Have you found Jesus yet? Yeah, no, he's, they lost him a long time ago, and I gave up looking. They keep coming around like, have you found Jesus? And I'm like, I'm like damn, you lost him again? For how, you, love, you lost a guy for 2,000 years. Yeah. You know, I don't think you even need my help. <laughs> I, don't, I think he's coming over here saying you need to find him. Yeah, to get have money you, out of me. Have you checked between the cushion couches? That's where I always find the stuff I'm losing. Like, I found my keys in the other day. I was like, yeah. keys, yeah. Jim's the only guy I know that will air tag a bag of Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared for that. <laughs> oh my god! You called my boy cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, dairy. You can't have dairy. Never mind, and, sir. It's 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 a it's a bag of Fritos. <laughs> like bag of Fritos, bag chili cheese. Damn, okay, all right. So, um, I actually don't have any new pickups to show you. I haven't bought nothing. Um, oh, I don't know what I you got, got. One thing well, came in the mail today. Ooh, I got it. Uh, it's Poochie. Oh no way! Yeah, that I, was I, quick. Yeah, I know, right? I was thought it was What did you do? Order like, okay. that? What? What was that? What Friday? Right? You ordered that Friday? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, that Friday. was from Funko. Right? Yeah. Dude, that's fast. I, I did not I expect to see that. Was this, yeah. And so, yeah, I got Poochie. I was not prepared wow. to get Poochie this fast. And then I that have a was couple quick. things. The only other thing I got, uh, it's on my pile of loop right now, and that's uh, the amazing Yamaguchi Agent Venom oh. that was yeah, on, yeah. on that came up pre order like last year. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. It okay. hit my, my pile of loot. Okay. Damn. That was quick, though. Wow. Oh, also, I found IKEA has these. Uh, picture shelves like these picture yes. like floating picture shelves you could put and they they fit 10 funkos across it sideways and so you get a whole mess of them and you can stack them oh okay yeah, because they don't weigh anything you can stack about five or ten of them on top of each other yeah and then there's 50 mm -hmm. funkos you could put up there 
There you go. Yeah. And arrested. Okay. So that's that's happening here soon. Okay. Sometime in the next like two weeks, maybe three weeks, I'm gonna start getting that all fixed. Yeah, all I'm, right. I'm still working getting to my office. Like all my stuff's in there, but it's all in boxes. Yeah, and it's the hardest part is motivating yourself to get everything out of the box. Putting it in there is easy because it's 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 a time for change and yeah. I was crying putting them in there. I'm like, I'll see you soon. I swear. Um, <laughs> and what did you do? You per- the, and you personally you personally took them over there because you didn't trust yeah. the movers. Yeah. I took a lot of like the the rarer stuff I have over here myself. <laughs> Box of comics. Mm-hmm. Uh, all my band prestos, anything worth like so many, I brought myself. I didn't trust yeah. any of the movers. And lo and behold, like when they were moving stuff, they dropped Liz's comic book, book box. Like she had a long one and she oh. dropped the whole thing. Oh, damn. And I was like, ah, I think I took my stuff over there myself. Yeah. Has she, has she pestered the neighbors yet? No, we're going to go give all the neighbors a bunch of baked goods here soon. Oh, damn. Yeah, we're we're working on it. We just haven't gotten done doing the kitchen up yet. Okay. Like got, the library is done, but not the kitchen. All right. Okay. You can tell where our where, where priorities are right now. Yeah, <laughs> books. Yeah. Well, at least they're they're almost all unpacked, so we're good. Yeah. Any whoozle. So Oop. we 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 are doing this up this week, uh, because you know we ran out of ideas. And <laughs> yeah, we are bottom of the barrel, scraping it. Right from the bottom of the barrel right now. The one thing I heard was Rocky's fan club is apparently a fake Facebook group. Oh, uh, yeah. That, I saw that was that. stolen from Steve Rodinas at some point, re- like yeah. the last couple of years. And now they're just posting a bunch of AI photos or something like that. I don't know. Something weird. Yeah, I saw I saw a little bit of that. I was like, dear God. Saw that. <laughs> uh, did you go to that con? No, you didn't go to that con the other weekend, right? No, I didn't go to Central Texas. Okay. I was like, I, I didn't really want to go by myself. But a, yeah, I was, yeah fine. we just we had a thousand things going on that, that weekend. Like, oh, so many things going on that weekend. Anyways. Visibly shrug, visibly shrug, twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, yeah no, we we had a lot of stuff going on, but uh, yeah, we you know we're um, we're catching up, and we're 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 about to get back into the groove of things here soon. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. all right. Don't so, uh, judge me. Much. I'm I've judged you since we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> that face said it all. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're, okay. we're audio only podcasts. Yeah, we do faces so. to each other all the time. It's great. <laughs> so, um, this week's episode is going to be basically uh, a replay of an old episode. Uh, and remember, it's a basically Sam or or the, Sam. Fire Lord Sam, as we called her on the Discord. Uh, the April 26th was just the other day, so it was like we are celebrating, not celebrating, but we are remembering one year of her passing. Well, um, we were celebrating it for the most part. Like, you know, we were saying nice things. We said a lot of nice <laughs> things. We said nice-ish things about Sam. Yeah, um, so. We, we, we do miss her a lot, but, uh, you know. You can't ever replace the the firing brimstone of your life like that. <laughs> you, if hard. you smelled sulfur in the air, you just might as well just shut your phone off because you're gonna get blown. <laughs> <just before you. laughs> it's gonna blow, gonna blow, blow you up here in a second. Yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, Sam, Sam was over the hoot, and uh, yeah, you know we'll, we'll and, say some nice things before we start this episode off. Yeah. So we want to we want to let our listeners enjoy Such Sam's unfilteredness. The Sam's unfilteredness as what we dealt with every day with her. Yeah, well, it, it's going to be especially the new new people who don't know who Sam is. Yes, uh, like Jared, he never met Sam. Never, never met Sam. Uh, I really wish they would have met because <laughs> that would have been hilarious. I think that would have been fun. Um, Jared would have probably been fetal position yeah. crying. Probably because <laughs> you, you talk to you talk to guys that wear nothing and oil themselves up in a ring. Sam would have had a field day, just like the indoor filter for rain, like the rain filter indoors. <laughs> indoor rain filter. I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Good times, man. Good uh, times. I, I will say, uh, I will say, I, I do miss her. Miss her a lot. Uh, her nonsense was a uh, highlight of this group for a long time. Oh, and yes. we, we have new highlights now, but we will never forget her being her. Yeah. Nobody will ever replace could replace that. But they stopped crying. 
I'm quit not crying. You're 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 an adult. Quit crying. Quicker, you can make me cry. I'm not crying. It's just that there's onions in this room. The table chopping onions around you. Uh huh. Yes. But you're by <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Damn. Anyways, call bluff. Damn um, it. That's right. He's a sad little boy. Uh, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyways. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, of Sam. Uh, it's one of our favorites. Like any episode, of Sam's one of our favorites. No, no offense to anyone else who's been on the show. Uh, she's just she holds a special place in our heart. Uh huh. And our cold, dead hearts that will never be replaced by anyone else. Yes, just that. And she episodes, just did. It was just what? the stuff that she just she did not care what anybody thought. She was going to tell you what it was. And then on top of that, she would send us like congratulation gifts. Oh my god, she'd send <laughs> me stuff. chicken nugget. Keychains, chicken nugget That's keychains. Right. Whenever That's I hilarious. did something positive, <laughs> that was the funniest shit. Oh man, no, Sam, Sam was Sam was a special person, man. She, she knew yeah. how to push your buttons real easy. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Hey, I think we won her over because we got her to dress up as Rita Repulsa, and that was her cosplay. She never. She said she oh, never thought she would <laughs> ever cosplay as anything like that. Was for weirdos. <laughs> And we got her dressed up, dressed up as a uh, Rita Repulsa in remission. You remember, remember <laughs> remission, Rita. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get, get a ball cap for that. Yes, <laughs> I was like, we gotta oh get you a God. ball cap, Sam. You need you need to use a ball ball cap. I don't want to use. You need to use a ball cap. You gotta use a ball cap. <laughs> oh my God, no. that was so dumb. Though I do say after her passing and stuff that. The people that knew her, her friends and her family, hell, even her husband actually messaged us personally and told us of how she would never stop talking about us, that we were her, we were her brothers that we, she never had. And I call so, bullshit, like, we're barely even brothers, we know each other. Yeah, exactly. And I feel that but, she was the slow sister that we never had. She was a slow sister we've always wanted. We've always won it. So, <laughs> well, I hope she haunts you later. I hope she does. Yeah, I, I, I'm getting a Ouija board. Like I'm that. gonna send her your address. Good. All right. And the question <laughs> is, how do you how do you do Ouija board addresses? As like, you can't just give them like locations because I don't think they know like street signs anymore. Yeah, especially no. like new areas. Like, do you have to give them like yeah. coordinates or what? Like, I think I'm gonna. Like I'm gonna think, this is a pretty good idea. I think I'm gonna drop a pin. And send it to her through Apple or something like that. Okay. I got you. Air tag my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get him. I got him yeah. on air tag. Go get his ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. So <laughs> enjoy this episode that we've especially are doing to let y'all hear Sam, who we heard every day like this. And we want to introduce her, her loveliness to everybody else. I think I'm gonna do Soup Isle episode. That was the best one. Soup Isle or the uh, the Pride episode. Well, you'll find out here in about <laughs> 20 seconds, people. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you want to hear a really good impression of me and Jimmy doing a dial-up ton at the same time? No. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said, no, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm Billy. And I'm Jimmy. We are the Bulk of Skull Podcasting. And we want to welcome you to the numbskuller that is the Zio to Hero podcast. Where creators and fans come together to share their love of their fandoms. Welcome to this fun-filled episode of Zio to Hero. Where I am always joined by Jim. The one man who proves that some babies are dropped on their head by accident, but he was thrown at a wall. 
Wow. You know, sir, sir, it's pronounced <laughs> fact fiction show. Get and it right? Not, there, not fun facts. And there's no introduction for the our guest because everybody knows her and everybody loves how she just talks the mess. She's the one. She's the only. The she's the one that can Sam. swing and swerve, but bump and hit the curve. And it's Sam. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, that was great. I, I've been I've been waiting on that one since eight a.m. this morning when I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, what has it been going on in the days of Sam? I know that we had a name change for you. You used to be called Fire Lord, but then it just kind of changed to Big Daddy Sam. Uh, you got to give a little your little backstory to that. Well, okay, so that. What was it like a week or so ago? Somebody fucking commented on my TikTok, okay, daddy, or some shit like that. And I was just like, wait a damn minute. <laughs> like, who's his minute. daddy? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I didn't think a girl could be called daddy, but like, I'm all for it. I don't, I don't give a shit. Uh, so, yeah, I, I've slowly made that a mini cult in my brain and everyone that's in the discord is now in that cult unwillingly so everyone's just gonna Woo! have to deal with it <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna heaven's gate on july 4th right no <laughs> jesus no no drink some no no <laughs> drink some drink some uh, root beer but the drink trick some. is i don't like root beer <laughs> ah, ah, ah. oh man <laughs> <laughs> well. Wow, this got uh, this episode got dark quick. All right, guys. So <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> yeah. <Bye. laughs> hey, yeah. So as we uh, adventure again on another Pride Field episode, uh, what do you think, Jam? Should we grill Sam on this one too? Well, I want to. I really. I well, I asked Sam if she wanted to be on the episode today because. Uh-huh. She's a really big supporting ally of the LGBTQIA plus community. And I, I wanted to get her opinion on, well, it's a lot of letters, <laughs> a little bit too, but community. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to talk to her about being an ally and seeing how things would change since, you know, we grew up at the same time. And so we both saw how things have changed, but I want to see what her opinion is on it as being an ally and not being someone who's part of the community. Well, not oh, yes. part like me and not someone who grew up like Billy did, who was completely closeted to anything called a book. At all until he was twenty five. <laughs> Me no read. Uh-uh. <laughs> so, I, I, well, I asked... also, also, we're also getting a different perspective because we grew up in Texas and Sam grew up in <clears throat> New York. Ugh. 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 So, God, yeah. the nasty taste in my mouth. <laughs> I can put me to the stake already, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, we're mailing you a steak. Don't worry, just do it. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, but yeah, but. We, I, I really want to have Sam come on and talk to us about that kind of stuff and like let like and I, we know Sam is sassy and everything else <laughs> and you know mm-hmm. Big Daddy Sam, but I, I'm pretty sure she has some <clears throat> insightful. <clears throat> I, I, I I don't know <laughs> if they're insightful, but like you know my journey with you know being an ally and everything like that. There are some only I guess me kind of things that would happen uh <laughs> so I, i've got some stories and whatnot of course like i always do so all right well let's I mean, uh you ready to rock and roll then yeah billy, are you ready to learn something billy good okay <laughs> i don't know if there's any learning to be done but you know well with I, billy he's always trying to learn something new it doesn't always take but sometimes yeah. sometimes it does mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm real proud of him real proud Thank you, oh, guys. God. Thanks, guys. Y'all are day oneers. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna have the gate too in July. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Well, Sam. Well, transition. Yes. Sam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Over some cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I. Well, we we had we had Clayton on earlier this month, and we had Rachel on recently, and mm-hmm. I, I asked him the same, relatively the same question about growing up, and you saw all the people, like you know, saw the Rangers and stuff growing up. It was you know we're Power Rangers podcast, anyways, because that's how we're labeled yeah. now, apparently. Um, growing up, and you saw Power Rangers, and like how 
uh, from your perspective, like my perspective was Billy was hot and with with of he wore tank top, it was gorgeous, and I don't understand why everyone liked freaking Kimberly. I, I didn't didn't make any damn sense at <laughs> all. And so I want I want to ask you what your opinions were, kind of growing up and like going back again and rewatching old Ranger episodes and like feeling differently about it, especially with David Yost coming out of the closet and talking about how he loves Trita on the show and like yeah. kind of what your perspective on it. Okay, so I remember when I was, God, like four or five when, you know, Mighty Morphin did come out. You know, at that time, obviously I was way too young to have, like, crushes on anybody. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But I was always, like, into Billy. Like, he, for some reason, I guess because... Me being the nerdy little fat kid when I was tiny, um, he had glasses, I had glasses, like, the, just him not fitting into the rest of the Rangers, how they were all pretty much good looking and, like, you know, they were just the stereotypical, like, popular popular looking like preppy teenagers and then there was billy who was just you know the standout nerd and i felt more relatable to him than anything and then like as i got a little bit older you know when you do start to realize oh okay i boys are cute sometimes (laughs) you know i realized i did like have like some sort of like attraction to billy and then like as an adult you know, rewatching like Zio, for instance, I, I saw Billy in that, and I was just like, "God damn!" <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> he is, he is like top tier here. Like, he was like in his peak in Zio, and uh, <laughs> you're sitting there like, "This better not awaken anything in me." <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just like crazy. I was like, okay, you know, that's pretty cool, and like. Prior to me even rewatching Zeal, like years and years ago, I found out, you know, that he was gay. And I was just like, okay, cool. That kind of makes sense for me, only because, like, this kind of transitions into my other stories. But I've had at least two ex boyfriends that are now gay. <laughs> um, mm, okay. <laughs> so I, I have. I I guess a gaydar in a sense that I don't know until it's like after (laughs) the fact. Um, But like, I have no problem with that. Like, obviously, yeah, I'll I'll be attracted to somebody if if that does happen. And if they end up being gay, you know what? I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm not going to, you know, try to force them be like, well, I'm going to turn him straight, you know? <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. You're like, like you oh, no. Okay, you're happy. <laughs> the <laughs> the great, great... I was going to say the great Sam crusade. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm... Yeah. But, yeah, like, I mean, everything that um, David Joyce has done, it, like... Out of all the Power Rangers and everything, he is just the most, I feel like, collected one. He is the only one that doesn't annoy me on social media. (laughs) He's not full of himself. He's just having a good time and making sure that, you know, anyone that's ever supported him, even though, you know, the producers and stuff back in the day did do him dirty. um, You know, he's making sure that everyone is having a good time. He just wants everyone to collectively be happy and enjoy things and stuff and that's not what you see with any of the other rangers i feel like especially i hate going into jdf stuff but jdf is just it's all about him it's all about him it's all about what he used to do it's all about what he's done on the power rangers and like it's just uh, and i mean we've seen the pictures recently jim has sent them to me of you know JDF straight up looking like Uncle Rico, like I've said for God knows how long, like with the gold chains and everything. He's going for his glamour shots now, and he doesn't even give a shit about anybody in the fandom, anything that he's ever done. It's like, well, I- I've done this. Goodbye, f- all of you. And it's just like, okay, great, thanks for yeah. affirming our suspicions that you're a total douche. And then, <laughs> Bye, like, Uncle Rico. What was- 
what was the other thing where he's like, I'm kind of done with Power Rangers, but I'm filming a I'm filming a movie that's like directly related to Power Rangers. Yeah, oh, the, the exactly. White Dragon it's like, movie yeah. thing, Bobber, and I can care nothing about that. Because it's all about, about that. him. That movie is all about him. It's not anything to do with the original or anything like that. Because if it's not about him, why would he want to do it? He's a narcissist in a way like that. So like, mm-hmm. yeah. That doesn't surprise me any. So forget that guy. <laughs> That's <laughs> like why me. David Joyce is the fucking best. He is awesome. David, um, David, David. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, and you, like, you know what? I, I feel like if um the girl who played Trini, I can't think of her name at the moment. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> hold on. Th- uh, Thu, uh, Thu. Yeah. I, I can't think of her actual name. But the girl that played Trini, if she was still alive, I feel like she would be up there with David. Like, I feel like they would have been the best team to, like, get, like, everything sorted. And I feel like if she was still around, she definitely would have probably helped him out. And this whole project that he has going on, it would have happened a lot sooner. And I feel like it would have been great. But, you know... Unfortunately, yeah. she's not here. So <laughs> you had, it was uh, uh, through uh, through tr- Trang. Yeah, her yeah, through, yeah. <laughs> training. But yeah. yeah, like even with her, like you know, going back to attraction and stuff like that. I always also related to her a lot more than Kimberly. Like everyone f-ing loves Kimberly, and that's bright and all. You know, I yeah, I've said it before. Yeah, I do cosplay as her. Or at least dress up as her, whatever. Um, But I prefer Trini. I've always preferred Trini. And I don't know. I always thought she was the prettier one out of the two. And I also felt like she, you know, wasn't the stereotypical, like, cheerleader type either. Like, I didn't like that. Like, I don't know. the Valley Girl thing was a huge turnoff for me, to be fair with you. Yeah. Like, complete turnoff for me. Valley Girl was just uh, seems irritating. But yeah. Trini, Trini was, you know, the smart one. And, you know, the smart, yeah. friendly, like, you know, good, like, wasn't a Valley Girl. And that's yeah. that's why I liked her. And then we got the, the Kimberly Hart Ranger Slayer in the comics. And, mm-hmm. oh, my God, that was, yeah. that was intense. <laughs> yeah. no, she was a lot of fun in that. And so I, I feel like without the Valley Girl kind of stigma with it, like, Kimberly Hart becomes more attractive. Well, yeah, of course. But then you've also got a bunch of fans in the fandom who are just kind of one-noted. And well, it's yeah, just it's like, just well, like all right, Kim- so guys. Like, the Kimberly fans, of course, like, mainly are dudes because they were attracted to her. They're just... <laughs> they're, Don't worry, they're Billy like, liked yes, her farts. Kim- it's all good. <laughs> Billy, I what? Like, yes, what? Kimberly, <laughs> my first crush ever, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, that's great for you, but... Well, the- Bi- well, let's let's ask Billy. Billy, who was your uh, who who do you like? Who was your uh, crush growing up? I didn't have one. I just don't you lie to us. You had a crush. Who do you like? No, doesn't matter from what show. Who do you like? Who did I like from what show? Yeah, it doesn't matter. What, what show? Really who do you like? We're gonna we're gonna uh, do not get don't no, don't lie to me. Who <laughs> <laughs> who did you like? Was it that one random like uh was it that all uh, all my monsters uh black and white little uh, monster? My monsters. Uh, the stick one. The what? Oh my god! I swear to Jesus. Okay. <laughs> ah no. Billy, I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear. What ranger did you like growing up? Uh, now? No, growing up. Oh no, not growing up. But I got when one we were now. little, we could make fun of each other about it. Which one do you like? No, uh, I didn't have one growing up, but I got one now. It's that uh, Ninja Steel pink girl. Holy moly. Ew, nice. really? Yep. Man, Billy, your standards suck. <laughs> oh, yep. great. Mm-hmm. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yep, this is my life. That's yep. all I got to deal with. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Hi, this is Ben from Baker Rangers, and soon we'll have a new show called Taku Tuesday. On this show, we talk about Takusatsu, Godzilla, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and even some more obscure Takusatsu that's out there. Just keep a lookout. Coming soon, Taku Tuesday, only on Baker Rangers. All right, moving on. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, oh, if, if who do you like now, Sam? 
who's your like crush now? Well, not crush. Oh, it'll but... it'll forever be David Goist. Always. Okay. I, there's and no if ands or buts about it. Like he just he's like a fine wine. He's just mm. getting better with age. You know, Planes <laughs> are the exact same thing. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, I will say one thing: the guy who played the yellow alien ranger. All right, the guy who played him. He has a beard that just ah uh, does not quit. <laughs> it's oh, gorgeous. Yeah. It's majestic looking. And then yeah. the guy who played Chip, the uh, the yellow, uh, the yellow uh, Mystic Force Ranger, yes. that guy, he aged very well. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, hello. I'm like, <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm gonna leave like that. If you want to know, uh, just look them up yourselves, uh, people. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so, like, okay. So and then growing up. Uh, while growing up, you you, you saw because we we had this conversation before as well uh, with other people. But you grew up and you saw that uh, LGBT like LGBT or the rainbows weren't really <laughs> represented in TV, right? Yeah, in TV and media and stuff you were watching growing up. Yeah. And now you can go back and rewatch it and you see like these characters who are kind of gay, but not really gay. They're never really explicitly called gay, right? Yeah. And so, when how did you realize that? Like, what what point did you like? Oh, hey, wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, okay. So when I was younger, I don't remember how old I was. I was probably maybe like eight or nine, something like that. And like the Ellen Show, not like the Ellen DeGeneres, like her talk show. But yeah, like the, whatever oh, TV show sitcom thing that she had, I don't remember I it what was it was called. The Ella DeGeneres show, something like that. I remember that. Yeah, it was, she came out. She came out on the show. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like my <laughs> mom was watching that episode in particular, and you know, she's like, "Oh, I'm gay," and like I turned around to my mom and I was like, "What the hell does that mean?" And she was like, "You'll find out when you're older," and I was like. That doesn't help me. <laughs> I want to know what I'm now, Mom. <laughs> yeah. What's gay mean? So, like, you know, I had no idea. And, you know, back then we didn't really have access to the internet like we do now to for me to fucking Google that shit. I mean, we had Ask Jeeves back then, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> my parents yeah. had a Jeeves. parental lock on that shit. So I couldn't ask Jeeves anything. Jeez, so. what's gay? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, don't ask me these questions. Your mom's watching. But yeah, Billy and I had a very similar, like, a very similar thing. Like, we, we, we talked about in Clayton's episode, which we linked below, <laughs> yeah. where uh, we had a, there was a character that came on ER, that was our mom's, like, favorite show, was ER, yes. and there was a character that came on who was dying of AIDS, or yeah. something like that, and like, she talked to us about that, and was like, oh yeah, I know, uh, uh, you know, gay, like, AIDS isn't really just a gay problem, but it's a, a problem that's, for TV, a gay thing, and she talked to ER off about it for a while, uh, so by the time we got to like three months into it, we were completely desensitized to the whole idea of gay, straight, right, and lesbians. Yeah. And so we're sitting like, oh yeah, no, gays are fine, whatever. <laughs> yeah, uh, I get that. So I, I give them a lot of flack, but I'll give her, I'll give her mm-hmm. props for that for uh, for helping <laughs> us not be considerable douchebags about yeah. uh, people being mm-hmm. people. Yeah, that, I get that. I um, so my gym teacher. Of course, stereotypical gym teacher story. Um, she was also my neighbor, right? Okay. I live right next door to her. Wait, and... does she tell her you can't do the? <laughs> she tells say you have to do the the rope climb. Oh my god, no! Luckily, do the rope this climb. Was like, no. <laughs> this is elementary school, so like we didn't have rope climb in elementary school. Thank <laughs> God. But um, she was my elementary school gym teacher, and she lived next door. And her name is Bernadette, and now oh. her wife who i did not know for the longest time like her wife was like uh, fairly older than her i want to say at least 15 years older than her um her name was nat and you know when i was little i didn't know like i thought that was her mom i thought she just lived with her mom because like no one told me no one told me and i was like okay you know and not until i got Maybe until like middle school, right about high school, is that it all kind of clicked. Um, 
we had neighbors that lived behind us, like diagonally behind us. So mm-hmm. they lived right behind Bernadette and Nat. So they were back to back neighbors. I was diagonal back to back neighbors from them. And those neighbors, it was two gay guys. And I knew they were gay. Like I obviously knew, like <laughs> everyone yeah. knew because every night, they would have these parties at the house during the summertime, loud music, like everything. It was a great time. Like I would open up all my windows to like my living room and stuff. And I would like listen to the music while they would play it. <laughs> it was great. And like they started incorporating Bernadette and Nat into these parties. So it would be like this one big gay rager. Oh, man, that's so much house. fun. <laughs> and like obviously because I was you know a child I could not go to these things but like just hearing the music and hearing everyone have fun it was pretty cool and like that's when it clicked to me that you know Bernadette and Nat were also gay <laughs> and very very like, very yeah. stereotypical couple <laughs> yeah and I was just like oh okay cool you know whatever and you know that did not change my idea of Bernadette at all like, I was just like, okay, cool. You know, she's doing her. I really did generally think that was her mother because it was, she was so much older than that. I mean, I've heard of that. Did you do the Paul Rudd thing? Like, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was just like the the light bulb went off and I was just like, holy shit. And then I was just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know, it was just the epiphany of that was just like, wow, okay. Why okay. didn't anyone tell me sooner? Like, why did it, why did this not get brought up and no one told me? Because he just left me here just assuming the whole time <laughs> that this yeah. was her mom. <laughs> well, I, with that, like, uh, I, I do like the fact that uh, we have shows nowadays that are incorporating, like, lesbians and gays into the show like, for kids. Yeah. And it's not really, like, a big thing. It's just like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah no, they're gay. And yeah. so we're not going to have situations like you and I and Billy had when yeah. we were younger who were sitting there going, what the hell does this mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell is gay? Uh, yeah. Or like, what the, what, what, what the heck is a rainbow flag? Yeah, stuff like that. See, and like, so well, even when we were younger, like, I don't remember rainbows or anything really even being tied into, you know, being gay. Like, Anytime I saw, like, rainbow stuff, I always, uh, like, associated it with, like, the, disco uh, and 70s and, like, stuff like that for yeah. some reason more than I did ever tie it into people being gay. And that didn't really even start to happen well, until I was in high school. Let me ask you this. When did you find out, uh, when, when did you find out what the Stonewall, uh, Stonewall riots that happened in New York? Did you ever... Like, did you find that out when we were growing up or, like, after you graduated high school and stuff? I think it was after. Yeah. I, oh, I, I want to say it was after because I don't remember. Learning about it in school? being discussed or talked about at all yeah. while I was in school. Okay. At uh, all. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, because not, not a lot of, like, now there's more places teaching about it now. But back when we were growing up, they, it was kind of swept under the rug because, well, no one no one talked about it and yeah, yeah. but uh yeah. transitioning from that uh some of the best coffee ever had was made by a lesbian so coffee <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> man I, I i'm kind of bummed that we don't have the video on today because i'm really proud of my mug <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put photos up on instagram and stuff don't worry i got you i know and you got yeah. your own instagram account which is Oh, which one do you want to talk about? My which one? <laughs> which one you want to? Which one are you going to support? Come on, throw it well, out I there. mean, <laughs> I, I I support both of them, so that's I, fine. You know, the worst <laughs> part is I have four Instagram accounts, but I only talk about two. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I, I well, have got. Throw out the name for your Instagram and TikTok real quick. The ones like Power Rangers support it. <laughs> okay, Power Rangers. <laughs> excuse me. Supported both are the same. Uh, Rebel Ranger um, XX, two R's each time, in each. So, oh, I was trying to let you get that throw out out there, so you have it. So I'm like, oh hey, yeah, I'll go check and, it out. And so then you reinforce it into the it's show. It's like she, it's like she threw the line out with the bait on it, and they got caught in a tree limb. And yeah, <laughs> that, that's yeah. usually what happens with stuff with me. That's 
you know, you try to do one thing and 10 other things happen in between. So like, Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> but so, the other Instagram is just roar XX 89. I think, I don't think the 89 is there. Maybe it's just roar XX. I don't know. I, I'm not looking at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the worst. I don't even know what my handles are. That's. <sighs> You're the worst. Okay. You're like the worst kind of guest. <laughs> like, like we've talked about previously, uh, not on the podcast, but like in person, I am not good with usernames. I'm not even good with my own fucking username, clearly. Like, I don't pay attention to usernames. I, okay, so anyone in the Discord that does watch this, I'm just letting you know, unless I don't recognize your icon, I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm just having a conversation with the fucking air at this point because I don't know. <laughs> right. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm just talking. <laughs> and she says this, and me and Jim can actually, uh, like, uh, agree with this. <laughs> Look, like, we had the video off on this one. She's got to confuse us four times. It's all yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's bad because, like, I will go and I'll screenshot stuff and I'll send it to you guys. And I'm like, who the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't understand who this person is. Oh, that's, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. If you liked Mark as the Red Corner Stranger, you might like the Zeo to Hero podcast. The Red Corner Stranger is a proud partner of the Zeo to Hero Network. If you want to see more of our partners, like Baker Rangers, Neon Lights, and other friends of the show, follow us on all the socials at Zeo to Hero. Yay! Yay. <laughs> all right, so we're going to jump back into this from the break, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about gay coding. And because us growing up, we, you know, we, we saw gay characters i use that with quotation marks uh heavily quotation marks because they weren't really gay they were just words and like things they did that were kind of like towards the gay community but not really Mm -hmm. there so you can kind of pass it off and be like oh yeah he wasn't gay wink 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 nudge nudge wink wink so and so one of the one of the like one of the big ones that stood out to me, like going back through and like rewatching old episodes of Power Rangers. Uh, the do you remember? Do you remember Lightspeed Rescue? Yes. You remember Kelsey, the Yellow Ranger? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, so the very last episode with her in it uh, was the last episode. She went off with her female friend. Uh... Wasn't gay. She wasn't lesbian, but she's really close with her female friend. They never really brought up in the series at all, right. ever, and no other rom- or romantic interest at all. And the whole series, but she left with her uh, female, friend, her female friend at the very end of the series. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the movie kind of like well, that kind of got me thinking about who what other characters could be gay coded. And down the road, you know, we we talked about this in Clayton's episode that Will was a gay coded character in Stranger. Or he's kind of a gay coded character in Stranger Things. Uh, uh, he's not really uh, inter- in- interested in anyone else but Mike, who's completely oblivious because Mike's oh completely my God, oblivious. Yeah. So- yeah, because, like, especially with um, this past season, you can really see that when he comes to visit. Like, you know, Mike, mm-hmm. obviously, he's got 11, and he's not going to think about anything else but her. And, you know, that's just tearing Will up inside. Like, yeah. oh, my God, it's and so, so, so bad. The jealousy is so thick. <laughs> And I feel like, I guess he's such a sweet kid. And, like, he spent all the time on yeah. underground or uh, under... Uh, upside, upside down. down. Upside <laughs> down. Oh, man. It's such a... And, like, there's a yeah. scene in the latest episode, or the late season, where that girl uh, is messing with uh, Will, and Will does not want nothing to do with this uh, this woman. Mm-hmm. Like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah so, nope. But, yeah, like, so, like, there's there's gay coded characters, and... Since we are a Power Rangers theory, uh, uh, conspiracy theory channel, <coughs> apparently, <Yeah. laughs> why well, I, ha- I have a list. <laughs> I have a list. Okay, so we, you know, we have we have Kelsey, the yellow SPD Ranger, uh, Bridge, uh, the green oh. SPD Ranger. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. S- I I think, and I'm I'm only saying this because I think this. I'm pretty sure Sky, the blue SPD Ranger, was Ace. I'm like 95 percent sure. So like asexual, so not sexual, like doesn't yeah, yes, yes. sexual at all. Yeah. Xander from uh, <coughs> Mystic Force. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Maybe Chip, but I'm pretty sure Xander. He was ace or some kind of gay. 
Uh, and same with uh, same with uh, the pink and yellow, uh, pink and uh, blue ranger. The the two girls that season. Yes. I know they were supposed to be sisters. I know they're sisters, but like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure one might be uh, gay coded. I'm pretty sure it's mm-hmm. the uh, not the pink one. It's the blue one. Yes, the blue yeah. one. Uh, Ronnie from uh, from Operation Overdrive. The uh, the yellow ranger Ronnie. Yes. Uh, my personal favorite Antonio. Antonio, I'm pretty sure uh-huh. I'm pretty sure is super gay for Jaden, and I've said this like multiple times already. But yeah, and then you got uh, you know Izzy, and so the only ones I can ah. think of. But that's my list. I'm checking it twice, and I'm crying a little okay, bit about Santa it. Santa Claus. Yeah, chill out there. Hey, <laughs> dude. I, every 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 Christmas, I swear to God, every Christmas, Liz is like, I'm gonna dress you up as Santa Claus, and you're gonna hand out Christmas gifts to everyone in the neighborhood. I'm like. Not a chance. Thanks, Sam. You, tr- to you triggered Jim. To- well, I'm going to have to come <laughs> to Texas and uh, team up with Liz and make this happen. I dressed up as Santa Claus one time. When, when I have a jumps. photo evidence of this. It's ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> it's really <laughs> yeah. sad because he looks all pathetic in it. He's like, oh, I'm so sad. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. You did look. Well, it got really bad where mom showed up and started pestering you and you just like yeah. sit there trying to cut your wrist. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on! Why does the candy canes cut? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Why? Oh, uh, like, come on, damn it! <laughs> Let me end this. <laughs> yeah. But there, there's there's been a bunch of like gay coded characters throughout you know the early '90s, '80s, and heck even '70s that you know, no. oh, but yeah. they weren't explicitly said that they were gay until more recently because well we haven't lived in a society that's been super helpful towards having gay mm-hmm. people. No, and not so. Gay recent. people are well. Gays are recent. Uh, now we got tr- uh, trans who are now the new super devil. <laughs> but it's crazy because, like, I remember, you know, when I was younger, like, you know, you knew about trans people, but like, you, there wasn't really a word for it yet. Like, as far as mm-hmm. I remember, there wasn't, you know, trans wasn't a word that I remember as a kid. Yeah. But I do remember seeing, like, documentaries of, like, random men that wanted to dress up as women or wanted to become women. And it was never, like, the women wanting to be dudes at all or anything like that. It yeah. was mainly focused on men wanting to become a woman. Like, mm-hmm. you knew about, you know, drag queens and stuff like that. And that was a little bit more accepted because people were just like, okay, they're dressing up, you know, this is just for fun. This is what the gays do, you know, whatever. But then there would be like, it it would become a problem almost or more taboo with the people that, you know, wanted to be full-time women. And that's when, you know, shows on like TLC or whatever would depict these people and be like, how could they live such a life like this? And but well, they would make the it would seem so bad that they were doing it. And you know, you just were being taught, don't do this or you're gonna be a freak, you know? Which yeah. Is so terrible. What I what I realized a little while back, what I realized was uh it's not it's not acceptance of the lifestyle, it's accept uh, it's this hatred of awkward sex. <laughs> <laughs> So it was never like the lifestyle. It was always that it was a taboo because they, people who hated these ideas of people who are transgender, uh, people who cross dress, people who like the same gender. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not the lifestyle. It's not the fact that like that, that that exists. It's the fact that people sexualize it, and yeah. so like they can they that can hate too. something that sexualized. Like they, like oh yeah, and, like look at the look at the new current like the current political strife we have right now where people are calling transgender people like groomers like pedophiles yeah. and groomers because it's not the fact that they exist it's the fact that they only think of it as a sexual deviant act yeah oh, and yeah. so it's yeah. never never more than that and so if you only can focus in on one topic like one like you can single singly focus in on this idea that it's a deviant sexual act then voila, you could demonize people super easily because no no yeah. longer are people; they're just sexual deviants. And so, yeah, we yeah we and, then, and this was a thing back in the seventies too. Like in the seventies, gays were mm-hmm. sexual deviants, and so that's why they could hate on gays all the time back then. Even before that, even back to the fifties. And yeah. uh, if if you want a real quick history lesson, it's kind of fun. So transgender has been around since 
the dawn of time. <laughs> yeah. It's it's been going forever. Uh, you know who actually uh, destroyed a large chunk of transgender history? Mm-hmm. The Nazis. Oh, there really? was an actual there was a there was an amazing uh, amazing library of transgender history in Stockholm uh, before they burned it to the ground and the Nazis just completely destroyed the entire like history of it. Hence why we don't really see many transgender things in history till like the 50s and 60s. We don't start seeing something right. until then because it was destroyed. Everything like there was uh, there was a procedure in the 30s that actually successful transgender uh, transgender procedure in the 30s that was completely wiped off the face of the planet because they burned the library yeah. to the ground. I also saw that I was watching a documentary the other night and they were talking about how some of that uh, uh, some of that stuff was uh, was held in Warsaw too and in mm-hmm. Warsaw got hit, and as they were getting hit, they were trying to uh, evacuate all the paintings, the the paintings, documentation, everything. And then now, mm-hmm. to this day, it is very rare. Yeah. Uh, like, like if you have a piece of this documentation, you're like entitled to like millions of dollars. Yeah. Like I mean, if, a lot of it got destroyed. A lot of it. Yes, a lot. A lot, a lot of it got destroyed. And uh, the Nazis were really, really good about destroying history. Yeah. Like very and, good at it. And because... the the one show I saw it was a uh, Expedition Unknown, which I never thought would like bring to light a lot of the stuff that was happening mm-hmm. in Germany that was mm-hmm. like being documented and stuff. Yeah, but he was talking about a lot of that stuff that those those destroyed. Nazis were really good about destroying the de- data. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they were super good. At it. And then like, oh, well, there there was also profiteers at the at the time too. Like, America was a huge profiteer of, oh, yeah, of the Nazi time. regime, and so we were making tons of money off of it. Um, actually, if you, uh, if you really want to know something kind of crazy, so we actually, uh, the second most spoken language in America before World War II was German. Ah, uh, I, yeah. I believe that. And then after World War II, we, uh, we, we changed the name to French fries or Freedom Fries for a little while. We, we adopted English as our main, uh, main language, even though it's not really in the books. It's our main language. Everything's written in English, uh, mm-hmm. because we went, we did a full 180 after the Nazis because uh, they they went too far. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. They went too far and they got caught. That's what it was. Uh, so yeah, welcome to uh, welcome to history lessons. See you to hear today, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you all feel that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, uh, I actually uh, before we get too far into it, I do want to give a little shout out to uh, to our guy Willie, who was uh, talking. He's on our he's on the Discord server, uh, Discord server uh, cosplay dude, and uh, he was talk. Uh, he he asked me if it was too far because he he apologized for. Uh, for how he uh, how he viewed his religion, so he said he was a he was a Christian, and that there's a lot of people in the Christian community that uh, do not like or hate on gays, transgenders, and stuff like that, uh, and use their uh, use the Bible as a uh, a weapon uh, to execute these uh, these ideas. And I I straight up told him like, dude, you don't have to feel bad about your your faith because it's not your faith that's causing these issues. No, it's people who even. use yeah. your faith as a, a weapon. And yeah, you should exactly. never feel bad as about long yourself. As you can believe whatever you want. Yeah, as long. Yeah. But like, as long as you're a decent human being about the situation, and you're not a total douchebag, you're fine. Like, yeah. You yeah. shouldn't uh, well, have I, to I, worry I, or you know have to apologize on yeah. behalf of all those other people. You're not like that. Yeah. Nah. Well, yeah. I, I should have told him like, don't you don't need to apologize for your faith. You you are a good person, and you've never yeah. shown any reason for us to, you know, never showed think anyone otherwise. any reason to think otherwise because you're a yeah. decent human being. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, I should have told like don't don't ever think of your religion as a uh, fault of your own. Like it helps you become yeah. the person you want to be, and yeah. it helps you grow to be the person you you want to become and be happy with who you are and do good things. And <laughs> uh, yeah. I, and coming from a guy who's read a bunch of different religious texts and everything and. Uh, most of them all say the same thing. Uh, don't be a dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Much, that's what it boils down to. Just don't be a dick. Like, yeah. why? Like, I, I can quote you verses all day about, you know, being good to your neighbor and stuff, and, but uh, it's whatever. A whole yeah. different story for a different day that's not uh-huh. going to be part of this episode because it's going to... Yeah. It's going to drive a lot of people away. And people are going to be like, oh, these guys are crazy. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we know we're crazy. <laughs> so we want to keep the people yeah. who's trying to be here today. <laughs> right. 
Uh, but yeah, okay. So now onto the uh, the other fun stuff we have planned for the rest of the episode, where we're just gonna let Sam roast people. All right, Sam, <laughs> who do you want to go up to first? <laughs> okay, well, so I, you know, I already explained this to Billy and Jim that, like, you know, as much as I would love to start like calling people out one by one, I kind of will go way too hard into each person, and I don't want to be sitting here hurting feelings or anything like that because I I, I can get pretty mean and um, I, I don't want people to hate me <laughs> I mean I don't really uh-huh. care at the same don't time hate you. Sure. <laughs> but you know it's just I'm gonna I'm gonna mention stuff but I'm not gonna mention names so if the shoe fits that's <laughs> on you that's on freaking you. I, I that's that's all I gotta say on that. But so like let's go on to the first subject matter that on TikTok, I feel like if your video quality looks like something out of a two thousands, early two thousands, I'm I'm saying like two thousand five, two thousand six <laughs> kind of era, like YouTube flip phone shit. You should really reconsider what you're doing because, like, (laughs) first of all, we have the technology now for any phone to have a little bit better video quality than that. What are you doing? What are you, how are you doing this? What sorcery are you going to, uh, are you having to go back in time to make videos like that? Unless I'm not like. (laughs) I'm more curious than scared. Like, I'm not mad at you. I'm more curious. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> like, like, exactly. How? It's just like, how, you know, even with the shitty ass, like, prepaid mobile phones that you could probably get from Walmart, I have seen have the better video quality than some people on TikTok. And I just, I, I, I'm confused. How did you do this? What are you doing? And like, even I'm- so, like, If you know your video quality shit, go outside in the sunlight. Get good lighting, at least. Because not only is the video quality terrible, you're in a dark-ass f***ing room and I can barely see you anyway. Which I think is probably (laughs) a good thing. It's probably a good thing because I probably don't want to see you because if, you know, it's just cringe. It's just cringe. And it, like, (sighs) I hate when people try to, like, get me to do wet these videos or want me to like interact or stitch them or whatever because like I don't want to be associated with these videos like that's just how bad it is I'm like oh dear god can I can I can I just (laughs) add to the fact that like some people do a video and it's like they smudge their their camera lens with their finger like oh yep that's Picasso but that, yeah, too, like, it's like they, some of these videos that they post are like, do you not look at them before you post them? <laughs> do you yeah. not? This also goes into when you're doing an audio on TikTok. Do you not see that you're not lip syncing correctly to the audio? Like you're like a few seconds off or a few seconds ahead or your lips just don't even match. Like you're just moving your mouth to make it look like you're saying words, but you know, they don't match up. Like, do you not notice you're doing that? <laughs> just say watermelon, get it over with God, just mouth the word watermelon and be done with it. <laughs> it it's, just, it's so bad. Like, you know, one of the things I've learned to help with the sinking situation, because I know when I started TikTok, I was the same way but like I would look at the video before I posted it and whatever like looked close enough that was what I would post I wouldn't post the really bad ones but I would post the ones that I was like okay this this can pass but like <clears throat> okay yeah. um yeah. Oh, okay so I, I know okay so you're saying that and it made me think about something that happened recently on TikTok okay mm-hmm. uh and so it was a, a ranger cosplay thing that happened. I okay. think Billy knows what I'm going to talk about. Uh, but so this person's okay. So th- this was one random person. Uh, I, I know I'm just diverged entirely on this topic, but um, I don't get to TikTok often. So this this is something I, I, I went and looked into. This person said someone said something really mean comments to them about their cosplay. Okay. 
Yeah. And they blew up in the Ranger sphere of like all the all the cosplayers and everyone started following them and all the other stuff in between. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, this this recent account is, you know, they're trying to do cosplay stuff, but someone said something really mean to them about it. And it everyone jumped on board to defend them. Okay. Yeah. But the TikTok was active for like three years before. Oh, I know who you're talking about because you and, talked to me about this too. <laughs> but and then the video, the video that had the main comment on it was recent, but they had the same video like ten months ago. And no one said no traction at all on it. So I think it was a staged. Look at the temple hat on. Uh, ah, well, okay, so I, I staged think thing. Honestly, like that same person that you're talking because I know exactly who you're talking about because we've talked about it. Um, recently, they posted another like hate comment and like they went off and they were like trying to defend themselves over it. And I was just like, are you trying to get the attention again? Like, at this point, like, I, I, at first, like, when you were talking about them, um, I was just, I tried, you know, I tried to defend them a little bit. I was like, maybe it's just weird TikTok algorithm bullshit. This is why this is happening. Mm -hmm. But, like, now that they've done it again. Yeah. But she, 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 them. Them. (laughs) Are we with them? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) They are not getting the. Um, the same amount of like feedback, right? It's not. Yeah, the same. they're not getting the same uh, traction as they did the first time this happened. Now yeah. I haven't really seen a lot of content after that second. Oh, I'm gonna, you know, bitch about this hate comment, you know, situation. Yeah. And so, like, yeah, like I, I, I noticed that again, and I'm like, well, I think there's something else. Like, you know, it's manufactured because like i know there's a lot of guys and stuff in the tiktok and uh, uh, in the ranger verse who are kind of not a lot but there's there's enough that are kind of really douchey and yeah. like really fool themselves but oh like <laughs> it's a one hitter quitter for most of them like they'll do yeah. it once and they give up because they don't get anything back from it yeah and so or like they block get blocked or like they realize it's not really use, uh, usable at all <laughs> for anyone and so they move on and get over themselves and like I know you deal with that a lot, and like these guys show up and they say crap, and you know you just like oh whatever, and they leave you alone after that most yeah. times unless you block them. <laughs> but like yeah. I feel like there's a lot of manufactured uh, controversy happening right now in the PR yeah. like fandoms at the moment. It's crazy because like honestly, like I for the most part anything controversial that happens on my end with stuff is mm. usually somebody talking about JDF. And yeah. them yeah. wanting to fight with me about this. And usually the fight is one ended because like all they could say is just because, just because. And I'm like, that's not a fight you moron. Like, come think on. Out your, uh, think out your argument, Ben Shapiro. Come on. <laughs> like, exactly. And it's just, it's oh, ridiculous. Yeah. But I, 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 I like that, uh, that incident that happened the other day where like somebody commented on your appearance yeah. And then, and then, as soon as I comment on his appearance, he had to play the disability card. Well, that's the thing. Like that was, <laughs> I think he deleted the whole thing too because I went to go like look at it and it was yeah, there. it was and gone freaking, when I. Because like, <laughs> it was the video that I posted about you know oh me being hot as your ex or whatever as yeah. you know one of those stupid joke TikToks that I usually post and you know what you were you were what do you mean I was. What do you mean yeah. were? What the? First of all, I don't even know who you are, other than a mutual <laughs> on here. Secondly, yeah. what the hell was twas? <laughs> don't make it look like I was involved with you at any <laughs> point in time because we've never spoken, yeah. never ever <laughs> that I know of. Uh, so ew, no, on both ends. And then like, you know, you commented defending me, and he, you know, played the disability. I'm fucking disabled. I'm f***ing disabled, so it's okay for me being a disabled person for you to comment that. But as soon as it gets turned back on you, yeah, that's a no-no. <laughs> that's a no-no. Uh-uh-uh. Thin skin, <laughs> little so. punk-ass little... <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> like, oh, man. 
Absolutely fucking yeah. not. But, and, like, well, that's what like that's what I'm saying. Like, we we have people like that in the PR community, and I'm not saying yes. everyone in the PR community is like that, but like yeah. they're real easy to back down pretty quickly. Like most of mm-hmm. them, like will you know buck up for a second, then they back down. Like, oh yeah, now I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And so like that's why I'm thinking like this controversy thing is like ma- like manufactured. Like because yes. most times like they'll back down pretty quick. Like. Uh, uh-huh. The worst part is it's like those people that I was just saying, like, with the you know, early 2000s filming, they're always the first ones to talk shit, too. They're mm-hmm. always the first ones to be the cocky ones. Like, their content is the greatest thing known to man. And I'm like, do you not see how cringy you look? <laughs> you oh, my not, God. Do you not see it? And, like, don't get me wrong, but, like, I, I the fact that a lot of them think that using the rain filter on TikTok inside their house is some kind of edgy move. Why? <laughs> it's like Ed, you, Ed know, Lord. you know they are going to be the cringiest content you'll see if they have rain inside their house. And uh-huh. I can't help but make fun of every single one of them. And they all know because I've called them out before. Don't use rain inside do you have a hole in your goddamn roof? Do you have a fucking hole there? Like, why? Why? Just don't leave the tub upstairs on. What's going on here? Why are you using? I'm waiting for these to use the snow filter because now I'm gonna be like, are you? Do you live in a box? Like, like what's going on? Like, if you're paying rent on this place, you need to get in touch with landlord right now. Get that freaking fixed. (laughs) You you have some household issues that you need to be taking care of and not making TikToks. Like, if there is weather happening inside your home. Stop, put down the phone and call somebody. <laughs> Go fix your fucking roof. The next topic here, uh, uh, can can we just say that we saw like a while ago, but I kind of like bring it up, you know, because uh, Sam wants uh, like they're talking about doing a comic series for some of these like TikTok users that cosplay and they have Sam as a ranger slayer yeah. in this thing, like in a little demo sketch. <laughs> And Sam. I think it's I think it's hilarious. Let's Sam, how do you feel about it? <laughs> yeah, how do you feel like being immortalized so, okay, so, by a pencil? Listen, um, <laughs> so <laughs> like a year ago, I think I was the first one of the first p- people that um, this guy uh, drew as a Power Ranger. Um, I, w- I want to say his name is Lazaro or something like that. I don't. Like I said before, I'm not good with usernames. Um, the only reason why I slightly remember his is because I've talked to him numerous times, and that's really, you know. And he drew you with a pencil. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he uh, The first um, drawing he did for me last year, um, I that is my favorite out of, I think, the two that he's done for me thus far. The first one was my favorite. It came out super awesome. I had that as my icon for a while. Um, but as soon as um, he started drawing Mark and the dude that does Lord Zed, somehow or another, this comic started coming up. And I only know very, 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 very little about it. Like, it was brought up, and I was like, cool, sure, whatever, go for it. And that's all I really heard of it. Um, So if it happens, then, hey, awesome. If it doesn't, then it was a cool idea. (laughs) Um, But, you know, it, it would be cool to see how that plays out, how that goes, you know, how they're going to, who's going to write the comic for that? Because, God, that is going to be a interesting. Well, you know, you got to throw Mark in there, and you can't understand damn what he says anyways. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, all I could see God. in the comic is, like, his character just holding a cup of tea sitting in the corner, just being like, this is stupid. <laughs> no, everything's on fire. Yeah, and he's in there like, drinking more like a, <laughs> almost, you know, like a Deadpool kind of way vibe. Like him just being like sitting there, like all, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to put that, hey. but like it's just weird. I don't know how they're, you know, I don't know how he's gonna tie in Lord Zed, the Ranger Slayer, and the Cornish Ranger, and what I don't know how that that is going. Wait, to wait, what isn't Lord Ed not Lord Zed? I, I, it's Zed, but we, we call him Ed. 
<laughs> See, I okay. Speaking of, I'm going back into. Can we get wait wait wait? Can we get like one guy with two Z helmets to be like I'm Eddie? <laughs> oh my god. Ed, no. Ed, 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 Eddie, come on nope. now. Ah uh, no. <laughs> but um, going back into my small rant. Um, okay, so I won't call him Ed only because. Anyone that has called him Ed reminds me of all the morons here that go, let's go Brandon for f-ing Biden. Like, that's what it, that's the energy it's giving off. And I'm just like, I don't want to be associated with these people. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. Like, this shit is so annoying. Like, why do you got to do, why, why do you got to do this? This is not even funny. This is not funny, <laughs> like, at all. Like, to anybody, maybe to them, but it's not. To me, I'm just like, this is it dumb. It was funny for about 30 <laughs> seconds. And after exactly. that, it's dumb. That, exactly. Like, it, it, it's, that's, it's that's like those people who part. run a joke into the ground or people who yeah. still use Inner Explorer. <laughs> just let it <Yeah>. die. <laughs> that's the worst part, too. Like, one of the things, like, yes, it took me a very long time to accept the fact that I was a nerdy person and, like, I wanted to project, like, myself as a nerdy person and like let it be known that I was a nerdy person like everyone always knew that you know I was into like Power Rangers and stuff like that but not until like I started you know using TikTok did I actually show it um yeah but now it's become more of my personality and like everything that I do kind of has it tied into it somehow and I'm I'm okay with you know being who I am now it took me a very long time but like it's hard being in that headspace of hiding my nerdiness and I'm kind of like that bully that's you know, going back to the gay thing you know the the stereotypical like jock who's secretly gay picking on the other gay kids because they can't come out I'm kind of like that but in the nerd sense so okay. like I will still have that mindset of oh, I need to make fun of the other nerds, even though I'm one of them. And it's f***ed up. And I know that is. And that's why I make fun of everyone all the time, because I'm just like, how did they not see how bad this is? Like, (laughs) are you you the nerd slayer? The nerd slayer. Uh, At this point, yes. (laughs) The nerd slayer. It's it's bad, because, like, I'm so self-conscious about, you know, what I put out and what I want. You know, yeah. people you're, see you're, you're, you're entirely subconscious of how you present yourself and exactly. you, you feel like if you present yourself as a nerd and these people are there with you, like they, they associate you with these people, it, yeah. you know, it puts it puts you off of wanting to present yourself as a nerd because you don't want to be associated with them because they're really it, cringy. It, exactly. Uh, I totally get it, man. I totally get it. nail on the head there because like it's just it's like, yes, I want to be this nerdy person. I want to, you know, show off what I can do and all the stuff I have and all that stuff. I want like, to do that. But, I, like, then yeah. they see, you know, 2007 over there, if they're flip phone videos, and I'm just mm-hmm. like, that's not who I am. And then, yeah. like, the weird, you know, trying to do karate kicks and morphing and all that on, you know, a video, I'm just like, my, my God, you, you remind me of, what is that movie, <laughs> Role Models with the Mick Lovin? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what they well, all remind me of McLovin doing the LARP shit. And I'm just like, oh my God. And I'm just here like Paul Rudd, like trying to accept things. And then in the end, I come out, you know, LARPing myself. Like that, that's kind of how I see it. And I'm just like, oh dear. Well, God. like, I, I totally get it. <laughs> like, I, I totally get it, man. Because, like, I, I'm a huge nerd. Like, and I, I, I know a lot about a lot of things for like the nerd culture stuff. But, man, like, I try not to come off as like condescending because I know people like me are super condescending. I don't want to be yeah. condescending. I don't want to like, come off as a jerk. And I don't want to be like making fun of people because they don't know what I know because I just spent the time to learn it. Yeah. And like, I always try to be like, Oh, Hey, no, man, you're a little wrong there. This is what's right. Like this is part of the Lord and stuff like that. But, like just making yeah. sure you know what you're talking about. And like I know, like I know, I come off as condescending sometimes, and I hate it because yeah. that's kind of what like it sounds like, especially in text. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah, it's condescending. And like I'm in the same boat you are, but in like a different genre. Yeah, I, I don't want to come off as that, and um, and I present myself in a more fun, happy kind of manner, especially when I'm like at 
in work environments, I always try to come off as more of a happy kind of go lucky kind of person, even though I'm a huge nerd <laughs> yeah. and know far more stuff that I should know about like stuff. And so I'm like, Hey, you know, yeah. And like, wait, I'm like, yeah. And like, wait, I'm like, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I got that. It's just, it just sucks because it's like, as much as like, I want to be involved in everything. I just, at the same time, I'm like, God, damn it <laughs> you know i can't stop you know making fun of somebody or judging them or whatever and, and like a lot of the time like if i do it to their face i just i want them to realize that maybe they should change something or like try to yeah. improve something but i don't know how to do that in a nice way i yeah. don't i cannot for anything i'm just like you need to humble your ass and realize that this is terrible. Please, just somebody didn't <laughs> bully, bully you enough when you were younger. And somebody needs to tell you, yeah. no, you cannot do everything when you get older. Just please yeah, there, there, there's a couple of people like you sit there, you watch them, and you're like, all righty then, cool. So you're happy, awesome, but yeah. like you want to try to tone that down or like refine that a little bit exactly. because like, that was pretty I, bad. Yeah. Like, okay, okay, you'll go through, you'll watch people, and, like, you'll see, like, their first videos are, like, super cringy. You're like, uh, okay. And then, like, yeah. later on, like, you know, later on down the road when they realize it was super cringy, they read, like, they do these videos again. Like, there's yeah. uh, there's one guy who did morphing sequences or something like that that was, like, super cringy. His first couple ones are super cringe. And, like, yeah. now they're, like, kind of fun. I'm like, oh, that was pretty cool. All right, man. Yeah. Like, get on you. Like, I like those effects you use. Those look freaking sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Like, awesome. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, some people never catch on. And mm -hmm. some people do. And they, they improve on their stuff a whole lot. And like some people never catch on and, like, ask for donations to do their shipping stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but geez. leave it like that. I can't. I have no room to say anything about donations, clearly, because I, you know, ask for the Rita stuff. But, like, at the same time, like, I... The Rita stuff, I waited, you know, I waited till I got enough money to, you know, buy my stuff. Um, and now I still have a little bit extra so I could go out and attempt to make the head stuff, the headgear and the staff and all that. And whatever extra money I do have, hopefully I can start, you know, giving back to people. And I have been able to do that thus far. Like, well, I got my friend a pop figure. I got you and Billy shirts. Like, nice. Billy shirts still on the way, but... You know, like, I, I, it's nice to be able to take those donations and, like, give back, at least, and not yeah. just still continue to beg for money. Like, well, all the money on I'm a, getting is going back to everyone else. It's not just on, going... <laughs> On the note, on the note of uh, begging for money, if you guys want to help the show out, you can hit up co-fi.com <laughs> slash the hero and help the show out a little bit. Jeez. We really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining in on this episode of the Sam's Rants. Uh, <laughs> the, the Sam talk cringe. The Sam, <laughs> Sam talk cringe. Um, I didn't even get all of it out either, which is the worst part. We're gonna have to have a a, a part two. A part two. So <laughs> if you like this video, stay tuned for part two, like they say on TikTok. You know, because <laughs> <laughs> if you can't finish it in three minutes, then God, lo good Lord, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks again, again. You know, again, 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 again. 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 Thanks again for listening in. This has been a very interesting ride as um, Sam has proved that you could drop a baby by accident on its head, but she was thrown into a wall. Wait, and, I it was me. And, and Jim is the only man that I know that can swang and swerve, pop the curve. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd reverse those. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, oh, get out of here. All right, Sam. Uh, you have anywhere, uh, anyone you want to support, to, uh, talk more smack about, or like people can find you? Um, well, I'm always talking smack, always. So if you want to hear that, just join the Discord. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sounds uh, reasonable. Uh, but join the link, Discord if you want me to just talk shit to you. The, the, the link for the Discord simple. is uh, discord.zuhear.com. Come and join the yep. Discord. And uh, you have to accept the terms and agreements. Come on, guys. Do it. <laughs> Jeez, man, people sitting there in the welcome page. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm pretty do sure there's some. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a thing there that says, do you accept these terms and agreements to be on the Discord server? Yeah. It's really, it's, uh, it's stock. Come on, guys. I haven't changed a dang word in it. Come on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just be nice. <laughs> 
Uh. All right. So that you can find us over at uh, everywhere you can find us uh, for like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Zero to Hero. And uh, you can find me at notmypersonalplugs.com. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can find <laughs> Billy at nothispersonalplugs.com. <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> All right. You got anything else, Billy? No, that was pretty much it, you know. All right, and then Mortal Ward the Zordon, come at me, bro. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>